Hi, I'm Anduin. Here at Martha Stewart, we love to combine organizing and beauty. Today, our project is a canister for your kitchen ingredients that has the name painted on. All you need for this project are glass jars, adhesive vinyl letters, electrical tape, multi-surface craft paint, foam pouncers, paper towels, a palette, and a craft knife. The first thing to do is to put electrical tape on your glass jar where the paint is going to stop. Just pull it around and eyeball it to make sure it's level and straight. This canister is for my coffee and that is a long word so I'm going to place another piece of tape just as a guide to make sure all six letters are even and exactly the same height on the jar. I'm going to start placing my letters with the F's. I'm starting in the middle of the word so that I can center it on the jar. And I'm really lining up the bottom of the letter with that piece of tape. Okay, my letters look straight up and down, and now I'm ready to paint. The key to painting glass is to use a foam pouncer. So once you have paint on your brush, you almost want to get rid of most of it. So I'm going to dab it off onto this paper towel and then start very gently painting it on the glass. I'm going to totally cover the letters. Many thin, smooth layers will give you a much better result than just a few thick layers. After two coats, it will be time to remove the letters. My second coat has dried, and now I get the really fun part, to remove all of the letters and the tape. So I need to release it which is basically just cutting a line on the very edge of the tape and the letters. This may seem a little tedious, but it will give you such a nice crisp result, it's worth it. Ah, oh, fantastic. A really pretty crisp letter. I'll be able to see the coffee through my letters, which will be really cool. Now I'm going to remove the red tape. Put it in a cold oven, turn it on to 350 degrees, and bake this for 30 minutes. That will cure the paint so it will not come off of the glass. Three of these in different shades of blue will be a really pretty way to organize my kitchen.